Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast spiritual development intuitive development for today Saturday, October the 18th, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch this video. Retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, do all the good stuff we do on social media. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'm going to adjust the angle here so you can get my big hair in because I washed it this morning. And I know ladies, and most of you men know when you wash your hair, it goes on its own route. So I am here in the hotel room in Dallas, Texas with all the amazing, amazing Terracon folk. So excited to be here. Marcus and Tally do an amazing job and bring together some amazing people. Got to meet, see Barbara Moore at the airport, ride the shuttle in with her. Um, Rana George is here, um, Kim Huggins, um, Beverly Frable, um, Angelo, um, 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 Ashley, um, um, who else? Jenna. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of everybody I met. So anyway, hello to you all. We will tweet, post, subscribe, Instagram all week long. So um, today is the number 18. And 18 is the uh, moon card. And it's all about that connecting with your intuitive ability. You know, I talked about it a little bit yesterday because the moon energy is definitely a receptive energy. You know, it receives light, reflects it back to somebody else, to us, to earth. It doesn't have its own power source. Although, like I said yesterday, they did, they did find that it might have had a volcanic eruption or something. So that baby may be alive. So number 18 also boils down to nine, which is that hermit energy. Hermit, get quiet, get introspective, get into yourself, get earthy, very Virgo type energy as well. And then 17, all the numbers add up, which is 10, 18, 20, 14, adds up to 17, which is that star card, which I talked about the day before. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's early. I haven't had my coffee. Yeah, there's no mug here. So that star energy, definitely about hope, rebuilding, rebirth. And also that boils down to number eight, which is strength card, which is what all of next year, 2015, is going to be about. The cards that I pulled yesterday for today was the Sun and the Page of Wands. And I'm going to add to that our Sun card, bright, beautiful, willpower from the Norman, strong, encouraging. Page of Wands can be that really sexual, you know, deviant little, little guy. Can be a girl too, but good news coming of spiritual nature and things like that. So pulling another Lenorma card for today, the 18th, and that is going to be mice. Ah, oh, funny thing, Rana George and I had a big discussion about the mice card at dinner last night, so it was a lot of fun. This can be about eating away, nibbling, and just kind of you know getting at getting under your skin, so to speak. So watch for those things that are kind of nibbling away at you behind the scenes that you're not aware of. And then the tarot card for today is going to be Page of Swords. So here we have two pages. So this young, childlike, you know, impish, fun qualities coming up twice here. Now, shifting into tomorrow's energy, we are looking at number 19, which is the Sun card. And the Sun is, excuse me, the Sun, like I talked about, Norman, a little bit different. But again, Sun, births, beginning, starts, things uh, just coming into your existence that weren't there before. This can definitely be about babies as well. And then 19 boils down to number 10, which is our wheel card. This is like that carousel we've talked about. This is going round and round and round. Lots of opportunities right there in front of your face. You just got to jump off of that carousel and take advantage of them. Also, 10 boils down to number one, and one is our magician. It's that energy of, again, births, beginning, starts. You've got everything you need right there within you. And all the numbers add up to 18. We just talked about that moon card and hermit card. So those continue to be reflected here as well. New Lenormand for today, the 19th, is going to be the man card, which is about you, which is about me, which is about that male in your life, that other person in your life, if you are a woman. If you are a man, this could be about another man in your life. It could be about, you know, boss or somebody else, but it's usually about a significant other person that's in your life. The tarot to go along with it is going to be Ace of Swords. So this is a brand new beginning starts, things that have evolved out of your mind, the logical aspect, the mental aspect of who you are, what you are. So definitely look for maybe that Libra male, the other air sign males that are coming into your life, or someone to bring a new thought, a new idea into existence, into your kind of life and where you are. So there you go. We've got, and definitely both the cards for yesterday and today, um, or today and tomorrow, are the um, swords, which is the logical ones. You know, that, that definitely is kind of the thinking, the logic, the numbers, that process. So it should be a fun, interesting day. 
So since I am at Terracon, probably all weekend it's going to be about tarot cards for your development. So for those of you, I want to say, for those of you who've been scared to pick up cards, you know, now is the time to embrace them, enjoy them. Not everybody's going to resonate with them, but I would encourage you to at least try cards of some sort, whether the Norman, Terra, Oracle, or something. Go with what resonates with you, and then start working with them on a daily basis. And here's the message, the main message, the main learning thing. Create your own personal language with them. For me, the mice is about, you know, eating, getting on your skin behind the scenes. Somewhere along the way, someone said, you know, it can be like represent cancer in someone because that can nibble and eat away at you behind you. And when Rana and I were talking last night, she uses the star card as cancer, like that expandingness. And I asked her, I said, well, how did that come about? She said, in my readings, it just kept coming up with the clients as cancer. And I thought that's where she developed it. And there are patent words and, and phrases and stuff from the Norman, but it was a perfect example of over and over and over finding the same card representing the same thing, developing the same language. You know, it's funny to go to a different country, you know, and if I say, hey, look at that chick, you know, someone from a foreign country would go, I don't see a chicken or a small little, you know, fowl animal because we've developed a different language, you know, and, and then you go to another country and their colloquialisms and slangs are completely different and don't make sense to me, the American boy who speaks English. So develop your own language with your cards, you know, with your runes, you know, with your pendulum, you know, whatever divination tool or none that you use because, you know, as a medium, I have the signs and symbols as well. If I see my grandmother, Lois, I'm immediately thinking of teacher, of someone who might have been divorced, you know, later in life, you know, of someone from the hills of Tennessee, you know, so those are my symbols as I use, work as a medium. So develop your own signs and symbols for your language and your communication with spirit, and it will just get stronger and stronger and stronger. So thank you so much, and continue to check out stuff on Facebook and Instagram. That's where I'm posting, tweeting, doing all the good stuff. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Namaste. Bye-bye.